Okay, what's up guys? So I've been wanting to react to some of the Fresh and Fit clips and I'm going to start doing it. Hopefully um, it kind of like blows up. But my name's Lane Rowling, my channel. About kind of like what I was talking about, about social media and like kind of why I feel that uh, some women are like want to wear makeup or get BBLs or any of these things and why they care so much about their looks. So if you read here, it says, why is social media so addicting? While social media can seem mindless and relaxing, it actually has a significant effect on your brain. Whenever you log on to your favorite act, dopamine signals increase your brain um, and your brain increase. These neuro neurotransmitters are associated with pleasure. When you experience more dopamine after using social media, your brain identifies the activity as rewarding one that you ought to repeat such as reaction may be more felt whenever you make a post of your own and gain positive feedback the positive feelings exp experienced during social media use are only temporary the way your brain engages in positive reinforcements is also seen in other addictions thus as the feel-good dopamine wears off you go back to the source in case social media for more in some cases social media can be welcome distraction if you are isolated due to work or illness the more you engage the more your brain will tell you that this is an activity that can help reduce loneliness which may not necessarily be the case what are the downsides of social media addiction? Engaging in social media once in a while is unlikely to be harmful. However, there are negative effects that to consider when overusing social media. Some possibilities and downsides of social media include low self-esteem, which may be prompted by incorrect perceptions of other lives better than yours. Now, you see this on the show all the time. They will compare themselves to Kim Kardashian or these very wealthy people and feel that they need to emulate that. That is another reason why BBLs, boob jobs, and all these other surgeries and the way women do them with the lashes and all that is so popular. They see it on social media, they feel less than, and then they go out and emutate it. Emulate it? Yeah, emulate it. And that's, that's where you get this. Increased isolation and loneliness. A lot of these women are living by themselves. They don't really have anything outside of them posting on OnlyFans or Instagram and stuff. Some of them have husbands and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if they are taking that many photos on social media, that's, that's going to be revolved around their life. Anxiety and depression. As we know from watching the show... There's an increase in women using antidepressants and being very depressed with therapy and all types of stuff, right? Also, um, I, I don't know about s social anxiety disorder. I'm not going to really speak on that. That might be a fear of missing out, FOMO. Women do this all the time. They always have to be up in, in where it's at. They got to know the, the, the newest show that's out. They got to go to the newest travel spot. They got to have the newest purse. When people start wearing lashes or whatever, they got to do it. So they see women on social media doing it. They feel that they need to do it. I see that in the increase in the gym, right? All these women are getting the same like yoga pants and the workout outfits, and they feel that they all need to do it or they're going to miss out on it. Uh, I don't know about the sleep patterns. Um, I don't know about the poor guys or we're ignoring the relationships in real life. You hear this all the time of like them neglecting maybe their boyfriend or other relationships because they need to post and that's their main focus, right? And then the reduced ability to emphasize, empathize with others. That's a big thing when the boyfriend's like, I don't want you posting these photos on there anymore. They're going to argue with it and they're going to call him insecure and everything underneath the sun. And they they won't empathize with his feelings and understanding of the logic of why he does not want his girlfriend or significant other, whatever you want to say it, wife, to post whatever type of photos that she's getting and getting male attention. Point blank. 
They says, how do you know if you're uh, if you have social media addiction? Negative effects with your job or overuse of social media. Increase use doing the activities such as hanging out with friends, family. All right, all right, we're not gonna get into that. But that's the last thing that I wanted to say. So I feel that a lot of the things that we see with women, makeup, um, BBLs, and all this comes from an addiction, just like somebody who's on re regular drugs like cracker. Uh, heroin or something like that right so like um all of those people are going to need to do certain things to get that high and to get what they need they know that putting on the makeup um getting the bbl taking the photos and putting them on instagram creating thirst traps doing what they do on tiktok and everything else is going to in turn get them the attention they need to get that dopamine release and then the money itself is also a big factor i would think it just said this is another thing it also is said to release um compliments neurotransmitter dopamine which is associated with motivation focus and positivity in other words it activates the reward circuit in our brain when we receive a compliment for doing something we have done it is essentially a signal to our brain saying to do it again now that can be good and bad if a kid is trying to learn how to do something like swim and you give them compliments they're going to want to keep doing it in a better way to get that praise again which is positive but if you are acting in a bad way and people are giving you compliments, you're going to keep thinking that doing whatever you're doing is good and you're going to want to keep doing it again to get the compliments. So that's why you see an influx of women that are posting these type of photos, especially if they have a boyfriend or a husband or whatnot and their boyfriend doesn't like it. It's because when they post that photo, they are getting the validation the compliments which is releasing dopamine it's making them think that they're doing something good it motivates them it focuses them on being like i'm going to be a model now i'm going to do only fans and then they're getting the positive reinforcement by the simps and all of that is going to tell them just like it says to do it again do it again and then it's hard for them to realize that it's a bad thing because they have lack of empathy from just like i said what social media does and if all of these people are saying that it's good and giving them compliments and people um, and there's other women that are doing it too and they're making money and they feel like they're missing out, what do you think? It's going to be hard for her to understand why it might not be a good thing for her really now or in the future. Because all of those things, money, the attention, the compliments, all of that is going to be very hard. It's just like... If you put a crackhead in a room and you put a bunch of drugs and stuff around them, like they they might end up um, ODing, and that's kind of what's happening with social media. I think a lot of women are ODing on social media, and I don't think we need to just tell them. I think that they might need to get help because I feel like men use social media, but women use social media for that aspect way more, and men don't get that many compliments on social media unless you're a content creator or you're doing something crazy most a lot of women can just post a photo of themselves with a filter on um done up straight up catfishing and get all these compliments and that in itself is what i feel like is driving this whole new wave of what's happening in our society but let me know what you think in the comments please subscribe hit that like button and um, finish the rest of the video as well. It was tunnel vision. Um, I watch these guys a lot. Some stuff I don't particularly agree with them on, but I think it's because me and them or fresh and fit have had different lifestyles and I've had different situations with women. I also have three daughters, so I have raised girls as well. So my outlook on things are a little bit different plus i've met girls in like all over the place and i've always had different outcomes with girls girls do not usually use me for money i've had some hot women without even having money um and it, it's always been that way for me um even when i was in school you know what i mean and i started dating at a very very young age well, I don't, I don't know if you would call it that, but I've always had, like, girlfriends and stuff at a very young age. And, like, even when I was in, like, 
middle school and high school, I was dating the girl who got best voted best looking in the school. And like pretty much every guy in the school wanted this chick. And then having her, I was able to get even more girls. And that's how it's been like my whole life. Even when I like got older and I was kind of like in the club scene and stuff like that and was going to a lot of parties and stuff. It's never been like a problem with me getting a woman and I've never felt like used. Like I, I don't even can't like as many girls as I've hooked up with. I don't even remember going on that many dates. Like I usually don't go on dates. It's usually like let's go meet at the bar or a party or something like that. And it's like that. And um, at a certain point in my life, I felt even bad. Like my whole lifestyle is completely different. I don't like pulling a bunch of different chicks. I'm looking for more meaningful relationships. And it's probably because I started so young and I've had so many different, I'm not going to say the word, relations with a lot of people. So, you know what I mean? My outlook different. But like when they talk about situations like this, like the clip I'm about to play now is he's talking to this older woman. She's not like older. She's like 35 um, about makeup and why she wears makeup. And this is something that always intrigues me because a lot of them say they do it for themselves. And I don't think, and and that's the issue with men and women. Men will admit, I'm freaking making all of this money. I got this Lamborghini. I'm dressed in this way. I'm doing all of these things. I got this yacht, this plane. Like I do all of this for women. Like I'm trying to pull chicks. I'm trying to bang as many chicks as possible. But when women do things, they uh, always, 99% of the time, they're going to say they only do it for themselves. And I know it's complete BS. And I have inside information. Like, just like I told you, they're not actually doing it for themselves. And if you do it for yourself, that is a form of narcissism. I think we all do things for other people's approval at some point in our freaking lives. Like me having tattoos and stuff, right? I get tattoos for myself, right? I get tattoos for myself, but I can't see my arm all day. Other people are seeing my arm, and I want people to see that tattoo and be like, oh, that's that means something to him. That's a part of him. Tattoo's cool. You know what I mean? It's like an iceberg. Somebody's like, oh, that's a cool tattoo, and you start talking. Or like me dyeing my hair. I wanted to dye my hair, but... I also do it so other people can see it because I get so many compliments from women. They're like, oh, I love your hair color, blah, blah, blah. And it breaks the ice to where I can start having a conversation, right? Or I'm wearing like a cool shirt or whatever. Like this Sublime shirt, right? I put this Sublime shirt. It's one of my favorite bands. But me putting this shirt on, if I'm walking around in the in in the amongst people, I can't see the t-shirt that I'm wearing. If I have something on the back of my t-shirt, I can't wear it. Yes, I'm wearing the t-shirt for myself, but I'm wearing it so other people can see it. Your shoes, you know what I mean? I'm getting Jordans. I'm not walking around looking at my feet all day being like, but I I kind of want, I can admit it, that I want people like, oh snap, he's got the freaking Travis Scott Jordans on, or he's got the new Yeezys, you know what I mean? Everybody does that. So basically, she's saying she only puts makeup on for herself, which I feel like is complete BS. I think a lot of women do it because of insecurities, um, blemishes like acne on their face, but they also are doing it to stunt on other women, and they're also doing it to be attractive to men, especially a lot of women in this day and age, because a lot of them put on makeup, they're posting photos on Instagram and things of that nature, and I feel that... It is more of a addiction than anything, especially now with social media. And I think what, what you see, like all of these women on here, it's it's they make good money from posting pictures and modeling and, and OnlyFans and stuff like that. But they are doing it because they are addicted to it. Attention re releases dopamine from your brain and serotonin. All the compliments... All of the attention that that it's it's the same thing as like you doing drugs, right? It's a drug to them. They get their face looking all nice and they post a photo and they got the bikini on and everything and they get like ten thousand likes and all of these comments. You're so gorgeous. You're so beautiful. It boosts their ego. Plus. It, it gets them high. They feel good about themselves. So then they keep chasing that high. And now, the money, if they do OnlyFans, is a secondary, I think, um, 
like a secondary thing that they're even like focused on or even care about. Like, and I think with most of them, I think to do OnlyFans and stuff like that, the money makes it a little bit like them not care about the future of doing some of the stuff that they do. So it's kind of like you're doing things that you normally wouldn't do for men, for money, but the money will help you forget about it because then you can go buy the, the purse that you want, you can get your makeup done, you, you can get everything, you can buy the nice car, you can go on the trips and all of that stuff to help you forget about that, you know what I mean, that you like were farting in jars and selling it or selling your panties or maybe some dude asked you to stick some up your butthole. Like all, like all of these things have to come from an intent, attention aspect and i see the most women are women that you see that have like that have gotten surgery now what i mean by that they get a bbl a boob job or whatever else they get liposuction so at one point they weren't getting attention they get all these surgeries and everything done and then it changes who they are as a person from them getting a bbl and getting that big booty and those boobs and then they get the makeup and the lipo, and then they start trying to hit the gym and wearing the yoga pants. They get all this attention. They don't know how to act. Almost in the same way as like somebody who, like you would say, fresh and fit at a certain point. They didn't get a lot of play when they were a kid. I mean, when they were younger, right? So now that they've established themselves, they're high value men. They get money. Now all of these women want to give them attention. Of course, they're gonna want to just keep slaying chicks compared to the dude who's been getting it since back in the day. And um, kind of wants to go um, a different path now. And maybe just like sleeping with a bunch of women isn't like really what he wants. Because he's already been doing it. it. It gets old at a certain point. So the whole point of what I'm trying to say is I feel that men in some, in most ways are better at admitting why they do stuff. And women just are... I, I, like they use the word insecure all the time. I think they're insecure to actually admit why they do stuff or how they actually feel. And that's why most people project what they feel on other people. So they always say, man, you're insecure. You don't want her to have a bunch of bodies and stuff like that. It's like, no, they are actually insecure about having a bunch of bodies. They're also insecure about how they really look and all of these things. They're emotional. So emotions will make you like, I think insecurity is more of an emotion driven like thought process. So of course, they're going to be way more insecure than men. Most men don't care. It's like, that's why you go over a guy's house, their freaking house isn't freaking, um, like they don't care that they got a bunch of trash out. They don't have any furniture or whatnot. You know what I mean? It's, it's complete. Some dudes do, but majority of dudes don't give a f like even younger they don't care about shoes or nothing like that it my culture is a little bit different but whatever but let's just play the clip real quick and then be about you, you, you know and what just I'm you do it for yourself um do you put makeup on and wear a dress when you go to sleep at night no i don't okay so therefore no, because i want to be comfortable and that's that's what i do for myself i want to be comfortable here's the thing we can we can sit here so so you see what she says she says i want to be, be comfortable right you do know that when you put makeup on, you cannot see it. You can't see your makeup all freaking day. You can only see the reaction to it. It's like what Cat Williams said about like spinners on your car. You know what I mean? You're spending all these money on these big rims that spin. You can't even see it. He was like, yo, you gotta like, um, hold on. Let me, it, you you got to like get out of your car to look at your spinners and then you got to look at other people's reactions to your spinners to feel something about your spin. I, you, you don't even see them you know what i mean so you, like when you put makeup on you don't even see it all day unless you're looking in the mirror if you're looking in the mirror at yourself and being like oh i'm so beautiful you're a narcissist so you have to choose one either you're a narcissist or you do it for yourself and other people but don't just say you do it for yourself. And lie to each other and say we do things lie. for ourselves or whatever. But the reality is women putting on makeup, women dressing a certain way, women showing off their body, whatever. It's all for male attention. If That's, anything, I do it more for women. And I'm see, 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 look, look, and I, I disagree with that. I don't think it's only for male attention. I think it's also too 
women like to stun on other women, right? The reason why they get purses is not for a man, right? They're not getting a purse to attract a man. They're getting purses and certain styles of dress to stunt on other women. Oh, you got that Birkin bag that's limited? Oh, I'm stunting on you. My boyfriend bought me. You know what I mean? That's why they're doing it. And there's nothing wrong with it. The fact that something's wrong with it is you being hypocritical or like just completely lying about the situation. I'm not even bisexual or gay. I literally do it for myself and for other you women do it because to compete with other women. It's not even a competition. It's it, more like it definitely. You, you see what I'm saying? It, I'm just doing it for my like, like it, it's it's complete BS. You can't see yourself. Yes. No, it's not. It's loyalty to beauty. I am infatuated with beauty. <laughs> I love beauty. It Why are you infatuated with beauty? Whole. Okay, tell me the truth. Why? It's okay, let, let's let's peel the back of layer. Okay. Why are you infatuated with beauty? Mm. I love beauty because it makes me feel whole. Okay. It makes me feel. Like, Who is like, a consumer of? It makes you feel whole. Like how does something that you can't like you can't see. Like, if you didn't put on makeup, you would not know. Like, I don't put on makeup. Like, you don't freaking know, right? It's like the same thing as, like, if you got a booger hanging down your nose or something, you know what I mean? Most people don't know unless they look in the mirror or somebody else is like, hey, you got something right here. You don't know. That's not the way life is. And if you're walking around, like, thinking about that all day, that is the issue of what is wrong in America. Female, be uh, female beauty consumer who is the consumer ultimate consumer end product who's the end see a lot of them like in in this like who is the main consumer of female beauty it's men like men only care about it. it's like women who do only fans or modeling or anything like that like they are only getting money from men even with only fans they're like i'm independent i own a business and stuff but i don't need no man it's like yo you need a uh, like a uh, you need like twenty thousand men Right? Like you were only doing stuff for men and it's not really independence. If a guy is paying you money to do something that you're normally not doing, which most of them normally don't do what they do on taking photos or pictures or whatever, they normally don't do it. The Kazumi squirts is a little bit different. She might actually like it. If she likes it and she's getting money from it, more power to her. But a lot of these women are doing it because they see the money in it, they see the attention in it, and they they also like like they like to join bandwagons, right? Every other woman's doing it. Why don't I do it as well? And I think that's that's the issue with like where we're going now. And then a lot of them are just like following the train. You know what I mean? They're just following the freaking train. All right, so let's keep going. And user of female beauty. I don't know, and I don't care. It's, it's not men. about them. It's, it's about men. me. It's men. Yeah, that's men. that should show you that I'm being honest with my answer. It's about me and how I feel. It's not really about men. If you think I'm attractive, then thank you for your opinion. Everyone's entitled to it. What? And like, <laughs> bruh, what? Like, what? That your opinion is not a. That's not an opinion. It's it's a hundred percent true. Like, Playboy models. Playboys are getting sold because men are buying them. OnlyFans. OnlyFans women are making money because of that. Twitch streamers who do like bikini stuff. Most of their audience are men. On TikTok, women who have a lot of following, all men, right? There's not a lot of things that men do that women don't like. Um, that women are really supporting. Men get supported by other men. You know what I mean? Like the NBA. Most men are watching the NBA. You know what I mean? Like Yeezy shoes and music and all that. That's being supported by both. But with women, the women that are making the most amount of money, I believe it's coming from men. That's why so many women are doing OnlyFans now. If you're on TikTok and you're scrolling through, all of the women on there are all in bikinis. They all got makeup on. They all are doing pretty much the same exact thing. You go to their profile, they all have a link to their Twitter and their freaking OnlyFans. It's like 98% of all women. They don't talk in their videos. They don't do nothing. It's just twerking or doing the same exact trend. And they almost all look the same exact way. They got BBL, fake boobs, tattoos, bikini, whatever it might be. 
all the same. Even the makeup or the hair. There's like, it's like you scroll through, it's like 10 chicks that look exactly the same. 10 chicks look another. They're like NPCs or something. Right. What do you do to Money make my life? Like no, 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 no. Or... What, what can I'm you bring to make my no, life better? Kohl's is super underrated. It's like, I don't understand that, that process of like thinking. Right. Peace with Miss I Atlanta. Mean. It is simply put, what do you bring to the table? That's what he's asking. I got peace with you. I guess like me, like like okay. skills or like companionship. Is that what you mean? Sure. Okay. Okay. If yeah. that helps you. Okay. okay. So you heard me rant. Um, I, I, if if this video gets any views, I'll do some more. But if not, it's it's whatever. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Also, hit that like button and comment what you think about the situation, um, male or female. If you think that all women just only wear makeup for themselves, tell me that. If you think that they do it for other reasons, tell me what you, why you think that they wear makeup or even do what they do. Why do women post photos on Instagram and Twitter and all this? And we're not talking about the money aspect. We're talking about... Like, women that aren't making a lot of money, all of them do it. Why do you feel that they're doing it? Hope you have a wonderful day. Deuces.